All right, hello and welcome. Today we are going to load a roll of film into this Ricoh Singlex TLS 35 millimeter SLR camera. The procedure for loading film into this is pretty standard. This is a pretty ordinary uh, camera in terms of loading and unloading film. Um, before I demonstrate the loading aspect, I want to talk about unloading. Uh, I was criticized uh, on a prior video for not talking about this because I grew up with film and I just assume that people understand things and, and I should not make that assumption. So when you're finished with your roll of film, you're going to uh, you're going to shoot and advance and shoot and advance and eventually this this window right here will sh display uh, 36. This uh, this uh, display window is going to show the number of frames that you have shot. It is a it is a uh, counter which counts up, not down. Some of the older cameras count down. This one counts up. So right now it says two shots, three. Wait, nope. There we go. Uh, there we go. Two, three, four, so forth. Okay. Um, so eventually we're going to hit 36 because this is a 36 roll exposure. Um, or exposure roll of film, um, and you'll go to take a picture, and it won't it won't advance quite. You'll you'll, you'll feel some resistance uh, before you before the, the film strokes all the way. You will get to some point where there's resistance, um, and that is a sign that you need to stop. Uh, do not force it, otherwise you will tear the film, and that'll be a big big problem. Um, so you stop right there. You finished your film. What do you do? Well, what ha what's going on is all the film that's in this cartridge here is now located over here. You're going to load your cartridge into this side of the camera. It travels across the back here, that's the shutter, and it's going to spool up on this thing here, which is the take-up spool. Um, so when you fit, when, when, again, when you feel that resistance, your, your frame counter is counting at 36, or showing, showing 36 or thereabouts, um, all your film is now over here. So you want to put that film over here back into this cartridge on this side of the camera. In order to do that, you're going to press this button while the back is closed, right? You, you never, ever, ever open the back of the camera when there's film in the camera. Never, ever, under any circumstances, period. Um, if, there's, if the camera breaks or you think it's broken or there's some problem, uh, don't waste your shots or don't risk your shots. Take it to somebody who knows what they're doing or, or, or like a, a technician or a, um, a trusted friend who's familiar with uh, film cameras. And, um, uh, but never, ever, ever open the back of your camera when there's film in it. So, again, I'm at the end of my roll of film. I now press this button right here. You see, I press that, it stays in, okay? And now what I've done, here, I'm just gonna open the back and show you. What I have just done is I have disengaged this roller right here. This, this right here prevents the film from, from sliding backwards. It permits the film only to travel forwards. It prevents it from going back. When you press that button right there, you disengage that mechanism so that now the film is free to move back. Okay, so again, I've pressed that button. I've disengaged that mechanism. I'm now going to take the rewind crank, unfold it. You see that? That's an arrow. That indicates the, the direction in which you turn the rewind crank. You are going to feel resistance on this rewind crank. Don't, don't rush it. Don't be in a hurry. Just gently rewind the film. The film is now rewinding into the cartridge. Eventually you will feel the, the, you, 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 the, there will be a tactile sensation here. You will feel the film disengage from the take-up spool. That is the last bit of film disengaged. You'll feel that and you'll feel it rewind into the cartridge. And at that point you can then open up the back of the camera and remove the uh, the cartridge. But right now we're going to load the film. We're going to load film into the cartridge. So we open by, um, as I just demonstrated several times, pulling up on the rewind crank, uh, which is fairly standard for cameras of this period. I now have an, a camera with an open back. Let's see, I'm going to try to prop it up with the box of film here. There we go. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it's close enough. That's, that's pretty decent. Okay. So, I'm going to take my roll of film. You notice there's a, um, um, uh, this side has this, well, I don't know, nipple thing. I don't know. I, I technically have no idea what that's called. It's not a nipple. Um, and then this side is, in, there's an indentation and there's a, um, um, uh, there, there's a, a piece here which mates with the 
forks. You see those forks right there? Well, those, that fork is going to engage in a piece of plastic here in the cartridge, which will enable this to eventually rewind your film. Okay, but for, to put it in, we move it up out of the way, insert the cartridge. Oh, and by the way, there are some people who, who will teach you to insert the film into the take-up spool first, then pull it across and, and put the cartridge back in here. It really doesn't matter. It's six of one, half dozen of the other. Uh, th this is the way that I learned, and this is the way that I've always done it, so this is what I'm going to show you. Um, but you know, some people will say, oh, it's much better to, to insert the leader over here and then pull it back. Okay, fine. If you want to do it that way, that's fine too. Um, it's, it's, uh, really, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. Uh, I take the position, neither, neither method is superior. This is the way that, I'm, that I've always done it. All right, so the cartridge is over here. I've put the, um, uh, uh, put the rewind knob back down such, such that, that that fork that I just showed you is now engaged in here so that eventually it will be able to rewind the film. Now I'm going to pull the leader, this is called the leader, across the back. That's the shutter. These silver strips here, not silver, they're chrome, these chrome strips here are um, the guide rails. They guide the film. They are rails which guide the film, which is why they are called guide rails. Uh, you'll notice the take-up spool has a serrated dial at the bottom, and this is so that you can move it manually with your thumb. Um, and what you're going to do is position the take-up uh, the take-up spool such that this slot is exposed. The slot has a tiny little tooth in it right there, um, and you're going to insert the this part of the film into that slot and you're going to catch that tooth on one of these sprocket holes here. Perforations. Some people, that's not a sprocket hole, it's a perforation. Fine, it's a perforation. Um, there, now I have inserted the film into the, the slot in the take-up spool. Now I'm going to wind this with my thumb to get it Make sure that it's caught. All right, there we go. Okay, so it looks good to me. I can see that the film is engaging the teeth here and here in the sprocket holes or perforations as you, pre as you prefer. I can see that the film is in the slot of the take-up spool. I can see that the tiny little tooth there is engaged in a perforation here. Um, and now I'm going to hold this, gently turn this. This, is, this part's kind of optional, but I like to do it because it shows me that there's no slack. Here we go. So I don't want any slack in here. And the reason I don't want any slack in here is so that when I close the back of the camera and I advance the film, I want to see this turn because that will confirm that I have properly loaded the film and it's not slipping out of the take-up spool. I won't see it turn if there's any slack in the cartridge. So, there we go. Take that, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sounds like there's no slack in there to me. All right, everything looks good and tight. Yeah, there we go, see, see that? Okay. Um, now, I'll close the back of the camera and make sure that it's nice and snug. It's, not much of a reassuring sound on that camera. Most cameras make a nice, clean, snapping sound when you close the back. That one was a little quiet, but it does, okay. I think it feels secure. Um, all right, okay. Now, what I've got is film over here, which has been exposed to light, so it's useless. Uh, once film has been exposed to light, even for a moment, it is absolutely useless. It cannot record a picture. So I need to get that film out of the way and onto the take-up spool so that a fresh piece of unexposed film is behind the shutter. And I'm going to do that by advancing one. And again, notice that I can see this rotate as I advance the film because I, I, I took up the slack so that I can make sure that, the, that this is rotating properly, confirming that the film is in fact advancing out of the cartridge. See that? Very good. Um, so that's two. So most people take three frames. You, sh you should, just to be on the safe side, make to uh, take three frames, um, unless you want to try to squeeze an extra frame out of the roll. And 
I don't know. I, I think two frames is enough. But again, I'm, I'm not. It's not like I'm doing any professional work, you know. So I don't. I don't need to obsess over whether there's a little bit of exposed film over here. There may, there may be, but I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, I am, however, going to release the shutter. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want to store the camera with the shutter under tension. Um, I may not be taking pictures with this camera today. Uh, it may sit on a, you know, it may sit overnight before I uh, take any pictures with it, and so I, uh, I don't want the shutter to be to be under tension overnight. Um, that's just not healthy. Uh, if you take care of your camera, it will take care of you. It will last. These these old um, uh, metal SLRs are built very well. They are built to last, but you have to take care of them. Um, one of the basic things that I recommend, uh, most people recommend, do not store the shutter under tension. So release that shutter if you're not going to be um, um, using the camera today or, or if you're not going to be taking a picture in a, in a few minutes or you know later in the day. Um, okay, and that's about it. You are now ready to, uh, to take pictures and I think we've covered what we need to cover. Um, that, that's, it's as easy as that. At least I think it's easy. But you know, I, like I said, I grew up doing this, and I take a lot for granted. If I if I miss something, if I'm if I'm assuming information, please leave a comment, and um, um, I will I'll be happy to respond. Thank you so much. Hope you found this helpful. If so, please do like, subscribe, and check out the links below. Take care. Bye bye.